Now moving over to the clinical features of myocarditis. Remember that as age advances, usually the degree of severity or the pre acute presentation tends to fall down. So what we find is that neonates usually present with a fulminant presentation. They have a fulminant presentation in the form of acute onset congestive cardiac failure. They will have episodes of apnea and severe respiratory distress and they are found to have very high mortality. In case of infants and young children, you will have features like fever, features related to congestive cardiac failure which will produce a respiratory distress as well as hepatomegaly. There will be basal crepitations also happening. And there will be presence of S3 gallop rhythm when you try to auscultate. Then in the older children and adolescents, they usually have an acute presentation but less dramatic as compared to the above. So they will also have features like respiratory distress. These are the children who will start to develop uh, edema, mainly pedal edema. They will also have some degree of chest pain. If it is due to viral infections, fever may be present or there may be a history of viral sore throat or a viral skin infection in the recent time before the onset of symptoms begins and S3 gallop rhythm will also be present in this group of individuals. In general, we say that in the first six months of age, whenever a newborn or a young infant has acute onset dyspnea and repeated apneic episodes, one of the differential diagnoses should always be myocarditis and it is usually viral myocarditis which is commonly implicated in such children.